Quark is the binder in milk paint. Here's an example of a project where I wanted the canvas to have a rough, worn appearance. So I applied the paint on um, a board that had not been sanded, and it actually had some residue of varnish on it. On a blank canvas where the wood has been prepared, you can see that the paint goes on much smoother. But for this particular project, I wanted what looks like on the left, uh, something that's much more worn and uh, distressed. But as you can see with milk paint, you can have it's the same paint and apply it on different backgrounds or different types of canvases and have an overall different look to it. So let's get started. The first two ingredients must be at room temperature before mixing. You'll mix four cups of non-fat milk with a half a cup of distilled vinegar. This begins the curdling process. It isolates the casein protein, causing it to curdle. This produces a stronger protein, which makes it less susceptible to mold. Gently stir the mixture, careful not to over stir, and let it sit for about two hours. When it's ready to strain, it'll have the appearance of a cottage cheese or curdled milk proteins at the top. You'll pour your mixture through the cheesecloth. And it's important to not over squeeze. When you do, it will look like this. You'll see uh, particles stuck to your cheesecloth. You'll rinse it three times, so you'll be able to rinse it off the sides. Each time, gently squeeze the vinegar out. The purpose of this is so that you do not have stinky paint. After the third squeeze, you'll be able to start transferring your cork to containers for storage. It'll have a consistency um, of a lotion. You'll feel that it's really smooth and it's ready for storage. You'll be able to keep it for a week. Awesome. Thank you.